let's start with the Patriots. You and I both were big on the Patriots. We both like Mac Jones coming out in the draft. I don't know if we knew he was going to be this good, but the Patriots might be the hottest team in all of football right now. Uh, six game winning streak right now tied for the division lead second overall in the AFC leading up to their big Monday night matchup next week against Buffalo. What do we make of the Patriots right now, man? Um, well, first of all, let me, let me just say this. Uh, everybody get your roll on everybody, everybody get your roll on, you know, roll tied uh, to my guys, Alabama. Uh, they just actually had a, a huge, huge win to keep them in the, in the uh, playoff race in college football, but uh, Mac Jones alum, of Alabama, soon to be uh, NFL Rookie of the Year. That that's matches. a fact. That's a fact. Um, at this point, it, you know, is it he, the, the gap between him and Jamar Chase has you know spread so far apart, and I just don't think there's anybody else uh, offensively that even comes close to to what Mac Jones has done this season. And then when you add on the fact that uh you know the Patriots are are, are right now at the top of the division. You know, what more can you say about this young man? He, I think he far exceeded expectations. Um, when he even ex exceeded my expectations because I actually thought he was going to do well, especially being in the Patriots organization. I didn't think that things would go this well, this fast. Um, but you know, you have to tip your hat to the New England Patriots. Um, but you know, we now we're gonna we might have to go back again. And revisit this argument, uh, you know, this the whole Brady Belichick argument, because, you know, and, and big shout out to the players, you know, in, in 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 New England because this, you know, them playing this well, obviously they have to do their part, but this is the 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 truest example of Bill Belichick's system, um, at work, that like because you have a rookie quarterback. Um, they still don't have any top receivers. They don't have any of the top tight ends. They have two good tight ends, but they don't have any of the top five tight ends. I don't even know if if, if either one of those guys is a top 10 tight end. I'd have to reassess things and see, but, you know, they're good. But again, they're not, it's not Kelsey. It's not Waller. It's not Andrews. It's, it, it's not uh, Kittle. You know what I'm saying? It's not one of these guys. And they're getting the job done. They don't have any... You know what I'm saying? Household name running backs, but they're getting the job done. They got rid of the, the defensive player of the year from two years ago and Stephon Gilmore, and they are still shutting down teams. The last two weeks, these have been blowouts the last two weeks against, uh, I would say, some pretty good teams, some playoff teams, two blowouts back to back. They're getting hotter as the season goes along. So I got I got to give a lot of credit to Bill Belichick, uh, you know, for that system, man, because he puts these guys in a position to win every week. And as long as you don't turn over the football, there's a good chance you're going to win that game. Absolutely. Uh, we got to start with the credit for Bill Belichick, because to me, there was never a debate. And that's not a knock against Tom Brady, but it was never a debate because we knew early on in those early years before Tom Brady became truly Tom Brady, they were winning because of Bill Belichick's ability to scheme up the defense and scheme up plays, right? So now, like you said, let's just talk about the current edition of the Patriots. They're eight and four right now with a rookie quarterback. No player on that offense is going to the Pro Bowl. Don't fool yourself, all right? Maybe Mac Jones, because he's probably going to be the offensive rookie of the year, but no one else on that offense will be a Pro Bowl caliber player. They may not have a receiver uh, get 1,000 yards. Right now, their best receiver is Kendrick Bourne. He's at 623 yards. So he has an outside shot, but again, it's not a clear-cut possibility that he's even going to get to 1,000 yards. They may not have a 1,000-yard rusher. The top rusher right now, Damian Harris, at 643 yards himself. So again, we're talking 12 games into the year. He's only at 600 yards as a rusher. So they might not have a guy there. Yet somehow, through 12 games, They've already won more games now than they did all of last year. A lot of that has to do with Bill Belichick's ability to scheme up a team with a rookie quarterback and say, look, this is what we're going to focus on. This is what we're going to do. Like you said, defensively, we're going to take, we always going to take away your best weapon and we're going to find a way to make you play quote unquote left-handed, which is what they've done to everybody. And the six game winning streak only highlights what we were starting to see from this team early in the season. You and I both had high praise after they played Dallas because they went toe-to-toe -to -toe with a very good Dallas team and lost in overtime. You and I had high praise when they played Tampa Bay because they went toe-to-toe -to -toe with the defending champs 
and lost because they missed a, a 59 yard field goal, I believe, in a, in a downpour rain. Yeah. Outside of that, they've handled their business. They are six and one in the AFC. They lost opening day to the Dolphins. That's the only AFC opponent that has beat them this year. Since then, the Patriots have been hot. Point differential. They're the number one. They're, they're the number one team in terms of point differential, plus 146 points. They've given up the second fewest points. Bill Belichick is doing an amazing job. Again, Mac Jones is going to be offensive rookie of the year. Bill Belichick should be head coach of the year for the job that he's doing with this team. When everyone, like you said, was ready to say, oh, Brady won that dispute. Brady moved on to Tampa. And kudos to Brady for winning a Super Bowl in Tampa. But we can't forget that Belichick last year, with all of the guys that opted out, with the instability at quarterback, still found a way to win seven games last year. Now you're giving them competent quarterback play. No disrespect to Cam Newton, but we see what Cam has looked like in Carolina in comparison to Mac Jones in New England. Right now, immediately the difference. Again, they've already won more games than last year, and they still have five more games. This team is probably going to win 11 games. They've got a legitimate shot to not only win this division, they're second in the AFC. Imagine if Bill Belichick gets the number one seed in the AFC with a rookie quarterback. What, what, what else can we say about the greatness of Bill Belichick? I mean, I mean, we, he's he's already the goat uh, as far as coaches go in in the NFL anyway. So you know that that isn't going to change anyway. But yeah, you know we've got to we 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 have to really take a serious look, you know, because actually because you know I've 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 been giving Tom Brady the edge, um, and I probably like have it right now at sixty forty, but I may have to go back down to fifty fifty, man, just because, you know, again. It was an amazing thing, you know, Tom Brady going over to Tampa's first year there. They actually had a home Super Bowl game and they go on to win the Super Bowl. But we can't act like Tom Brady went to the Chargers or Tom Brady went to uh, Baltimore, let's just say. You know what I'm saying? Where they don't have those weapons like that. Have wide receiver or, or, or any, you know, any of these teams that don't have have weapons that, that the the Eagles could use wide receivers. Washington, there's so many teams. So we can't act like Tom Brady went to a bad team and took them to the Super Bowl. You know, Jameis Winston threw for five thousand yards with that same offense. Oh, but we're gonna minus Antonio Brown. We're gonna minus uh, Rob Gronkowski because those two guys weren't there. And Leonard Jameis, Fournette. And Leonard Fournette <laughs> was not there. So those, you know. That guy threw for 5,000 yards with that offense. Obviously, there's a difference as far as the turnovers go because I think it was, he might have had 30-30 that year. He, he um, went 30-30 and not in, a, not in a good way. Not 30 exactly. for 30, not the ones we like. <laughs> exactly. So, yeah, it's a great accomplishment because at the end of the day, you still have to get the job done and winning the Super Bowl. But when you have those type of weapons surrounding you, that increases your chances largely because automatically – like we already knew they they were going to the playoffs, with, with that offense you're going to the playoffs. But you know to get to the Super Bowl, yeah, it's it's it, it's not an easy thing. But again, you got there with three All Pro wide receivers. Uh, you know, and Rob Gronkowski is still one of the best tight ends in football. I don't care. He what might be the greatest tight end in history of the game. Exactly, he might be the goat tight end. You know what I mean? You want to argue Shannon Sharp? You want to argue Kelsey? will probably get past him. I'm mean, Kelsey probably will just because numbers wise, him being with, with Mahomes, so he he'll probably pass him. You want to say Tony Gonzalez though? But Rob Gronkowski is up there amongst those. He's not out of the top five all time, right? So you add that to, to the line. You add Leonard Fournette. We saw what Leonard Fournette just did four touchdowns uh, just yesterday. So. When you when you when you put all of those all those things into perspective, it's like all right, yeah, you're you're set up to be successful. And you look at the other side of that, Belichick is set up for failure because they ain't got nothing over there. Last year, you said they won seven games, and that was why we were still kind of unfamiliar with what we were gonna do. Uh, you know, in regards to COVID, that whole situation, a lot of guys opted out. A lot of their starters opted out, so they didn't even have, you know, a good percentage of their starters last season. You got guys going in and out, and again, there's no quarterback because we don't even have Tom Brady anymore. So we're going through guys. We're trying to figure out what we're going to do. You know, Cam is there, but he's not. He got COVID, and things started going downhill from there. You know, then we come into this season. I, I, you know, I don't know if there's necessary. I don't know if there were playoff expectations on the Patriots going into this season. 
just because you, you, you're dealing with a rookie quarterback, a lot of guys are new in the system. I know they made they spent a lot of money in free agency coming into the season, uh, but it, 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 there wasn't a superstar, superstar that they brought into this organization. They didn't bring in, uh, you know, Odell to, to to play wide receiver or, you know, make a trade for, for Michael Thomas or one of these other guys. They didn't have it. They didn't bring in a top quarterback. They drafted a rookie quarterback who a lot of people, you know, were down on. A lot of people weren't, weren't you know, giving Mac Jones his, his respect. Everything was about Trevor Lawrence. He's that guy. He's the franchise guy. He's a, he's a guy that you're going to have on your team for a decade, blah, blah, blah. It wasn't about him. Then it was, you know, the other guys, Justin Fields, and we got Trey Lance out here. Nobody was talking about Mac Jones like that. He probably had – most people had Mac Jones as probably the fourth best out of that, out of that class of, of QBs, and look what they are doing. And that is largely attributed to Bill Belichick, his system, his coaching staff. Absolutely. I, I think Bill doesn't get enough credit for what he does behind the scenes. And as you mentioned, I don't know if you've gotten a chance to see it yet, but the Tom Brady documentary that's streaming now, The Man in the Arena. I haven't. I'm going to watch it, though. I've, I've gotten through the first two episodes. I believe episode three is out now. I haven't watched that one. But he is quick to say that early on, it was Bill Belichick. And he's not the only one. Rodney Harrison's on there, uh, Lawyer Malloy, Willie McGinnis, all of them talk about how early on in the beginning of this, what was to become the Patriot dynasty, Bill Belichick getting guys to understand circumstance in games, scenarios in games, situations in games that no other coach would even think about. And so that when those things would present themselves on Sunday, the Patriot players were always comfortable because it's like, oh, we've gone over this in practice. When no other coach is thinking about this, this is what Bill is thinking about. And so... I think that we forget, of course, Brady has been amazing. We can never forget 28-3 against Atlanta. We can never forget the 10-point comeback against the Legion of Bulls. Matt Ryan. Right. We, we can never forget those moments, right? But we also can't forget the fact that they beat the greatest show on turf because of Belichick's defensive scheme. When they beat the Rams the second time, Brady only threw for about 140 yards. That was, Brady, that was Belichick's defense slowing down Sean McVay's offense. Right. When they beat that Eagle team with McNabb and T.O., you look back at the footage, that's their defense suffocating the Eagles and allowing Brady to play on a short field and, and then just take advantage of the short fields. So Belichick was like you said, it's 60, 40 to me. I always thought it was 50, 50. And I even leaned a little bit more towards Belichick because there were way more games that I thought you don't win without Bill Belichick. Bill Belichick is the only coach that I've ever seen that could frustrate Peyton Manning who most people consider the smartest quarterback to ever play the game, Belichick knew how to frustrate him when no one else knew how to do it. Belichick is the architect of that defense that shut down that 1990 Buffalo Bills team, which is one of the greatest offenses ever, and helped the Giants win the Super Bowl. So we got to always give Belichick his credit. And like you said, last year, they win seven games with uncertainty at the quarterback position and the fact that they had nine guys on their defense opt out. Yeah. I don't know if anyone thought they were going to be this good. I thought they had a legitimate shot to be a playoff team because they were going to get all those defensive guys back. But there's no way that I thought that they would be eight and four after 12 games and be leading the AFC East when we all thought Buffalo was a Super Bowl contender. The Patriots look better than Buffalo, and I expect the Patriots to play really well against them next week. Yeah, I, I agree a thousand percent. Don't be, do not be surprised if the Patriots win that game because I Absolutely think not. It's going to come down to, to to coaching. I truly believe it's going to come down to the coaching. And if we're going going head up, coach for coach, I'm gonna put my my money on Bill Belichick 99 out of 100 times because he's that great of a of a mind. And you know, you, you talked about those defenses. You know, we can't even forget. You know, when you talk about Loyal Malloy, you know, and Rodney Harrison, those are two of the best. You know, guys, you know, the play high this laws, game. the Willie McGinnis. Yeah, like yes. he, he coached guys. up, he coached up a hell, a hell of a defense against any quarterback they've ever faced. The resume speaks for itself. And again, that's not to take anything away from Tom because Tom still had yeah. to execute on the field. But before Tom Brady was even in the conversation as a great quarterback, not just to go as a great quarterback, those early Patriot years were defined by Belichick's ability to come up with a scheme to slow down whoever they were playing. And can we actually, because we got to put this one more person that we got to put respect on his name as well when we're talking about, about, about this whole era of, of amazing football, you know, that we got from the New England Patriots organization. But there's one guy that you got to add in there, and that's Adam Vinatieri. 
because the, the most clutch Adam kick Benetelli, of all time. Yes, he won a lot of games for the New England Patriots. And if he doesn't do his job, we don't look at Tom Brady or Bill Belichick the same way because a lot of those big wins came down to his leg. If he doesn't hit that, if he doesn't make either one of those kicks in the snow against the Raiders, the dynasty never starts. The yeah. dynasty starts with his ability to make two kicks in the middle of a blizzard <laughs> that yeah. allow them to beat the Raiders and then ultimately go on. They end up beat Pittsburgh the next week. And then he makes the kick in the Super Bowl, one of his many Super Bowl winning kicks, because he also had another game winner the next time they got to the Super Bowl.